If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Check out Potan Store. It's a fantastic website with instant email delivery on all the code cards you could possibly want for PTCGO. And if you use Tailmon code when you're checking out, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailwind code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. and welcome back to a brand new day of road to tier world 2020 thank you so much for joining me um we are now going to be utilizing the regular version of turbo dark um i saw a soul won a league challenge or something with uh, turbo dark and i was very surprised at how close and similar the the lists actually were um he had a great catcher in there over the second nest ball, which I really, 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 really liked. Um, but yeah, I was very surprised to see that and really, I don't know. Um, it's cool that um, we're kind of on the same page. Um, okay, you know, you've been using Ancient Origins Learn to make Egg run out of win. That makes sense, right? That makes sense. You do have to set up the Ditto. You do have to find the Flare and when under item lock. It's not super, super easy, but... I can see that how that makes the matchup um, super favorable for any Zorak deck. So that definitely makes sense. Um, but yeah, Turbo Dark, we have Zorak Greninja, well, I mean Greninja and Zorak with a super powerful Dark Pulse, right? Dealing 30 damage plus 30 more damage for each energy. Um, for each energy that, um, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, it's just an uh, important thing. Um, 30 more damage for each dark energy that you have in play. And with dark patches and restoration and max elixirs, you actually have a really nice way to get a lot of energy into play really quickly and get to some really, really high numbers. Lack of choice band and firing fury belt is definitely um, meaningful here, but um, you can't really feed everything. So it's... Um, and had to be something like something had to give right if you didn't have to worry about um gx blockers right then the weaver line the gustler given or especially like the mu and the weaver line those could be spaces for extra consistency and potential choice bands but you just you have to make sure that you have almost all your bases covered um we have Dark Ray X's ability, Dark Cloak to free retreat, and Night Spear is actually very useful <clears throat> against dull dull sort of decks because you are able to eliminate two dolls or two Pokemon for um, in a single turn, which is fantastic. We have Weavall GX's Shadow Connection to move energy around, which is pretty useful. Um, so that nothing gets trapped, and so you have an evolution attacker to get get past um, disgusting Pollen. And then we have two Sycamores, one. Um, Cold Rest, two Guzmas, and one, and along with 12 basic energies, which is like the magical number for Max Elixir, between not going overboard on the energies, but also um, having enough to where they are reliable enough. Okay. Okay. So we get to Mulligan. We get a Mulligan. The one thing that sometimes gets me nervous about this deck is um, starting. Starting Zora Greninja, um, like it's never not ideal, or if you price one and you only use one, uh, things can get a little tricky. Um, starting the Daniel, obviously it's not great, but um, overall it's not the end of the world with this particular deck, right? With this, this particular deck. 
Okay, so we're up against another Raticate deck. That does mean we are going to have to use Gustlord very, very effectively, right? And we'll actually probably avoid using Zora Greninja right now, right? We'll actually avoid using Zora Greninja, or Greninja Zora, sorry. Nest ball, level ball, a bunch of balls for my opponent here. <laughs> Obey Noe. Um, based on my experience with him in San Diego, I don't think that's going to be possible. He seems to be very set on the Pokemon and the things he wants to play. Um, okay, so realistically, I mean, I could get a knockout, but I'm also very scared of... Hmm. Okay, I think I'm, I'm, I need to play it slow and steady here. Uh, the Gut Flirt is available, so I think setting up this guy is worth it. If I lose it, then I lose it, then it's fine. <clears throat> and then I definitely need to do this, right? For a Shaman. That's for sure, otherwise, like, I'm gonna be dead drawing, and I get to set up for six, which is always nice. Like I said, I don't expect to get a KO this turn. If I do, that would be fantastic, but I really don't expect it to. Um, I'll keep the Hypnotoxic Blazer, I guess, for now. Um, I'll draw five cards. Uh, not looking fantastic. But I guess I can Ultra Ball here. Once again, I just Lele for N. That seems reasonable, I guess. That seems reasonable. I'll go ahead and Dark Patch again. I don't expect my Sneasel to go down. And I don't want to bench the Orangu just yet, because my bench is starting to get super clogged. Like, one of each Pokemon that draws cards, and <laughs> not a single attack or anything. Ugh. Not great. Um, okay, this is reasonable-ish. I guess reasonable-ish. Um, once again, like, if I... Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna leave it here for now. Right? I'm not gonna play anything else. I could. But I'd rather save that Nest Wall. Maybe co over committing to the Ghost Lord would be a bad idea, because it is four energies. So maybe I should use Ghost Lord in the end of the match. We'll see. We shall see. Okay. There's the Radicate. Yeah, I fully expect this that they need to go down. Okay, so. Hmm. That will probably set up a Rattata. Well, maybe, maybe there's no... Nah, never mind. Yeah, there's the laser. Okay. So we're trading two prizes. In the only way for me to be cost effective here is to use the Ghost Lord, right? So that requires me to Nest Ball for the Ghost Lord, evolve into Weavile, and also find Darkrai GX above the end to six. So it's not looking super likely, not gonna lie. <clears throat> it's not looking super, super likely. Um, the Battle Compressor certainly helps not only to increase the chances of me hitting the Elixirs, but also to get an energy back. So now I only need to hit one Elixir, possibly. Um, yeah, it's not fantastic though. Uh, so the water could be useful, I guess. Ooh. What do I even discard here? I guess I take a more. <clears throat> All right. So finding Ghost Lord and Darkrai is just as difficult. Either or. 
So I'll just grab the Guzzler here, and then I'll go Max Elixir, DOS hit, that's very nice. And then I'll go Max Elixir again, DOS hit, that's very nice. Okay, so we are guaranteed to get a knockout here. Now we are certainly guaranteed because we can Restoration and get another energy into play. So I'm going to go ahead and end my opponent from 5 to 4. Not the biggest of deals, but not terrible either. And I want to save the Dark Patch, right? If I can get an energy back through Restoration, I should do that instead. And hello, Iberserk. How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, I mean, I can Dowsing Machine for Nestwell for the Dark, right? That keeps one energy in play, which is, I guess, kind of the same as using um, Dowsing Machine for Dark Patch later on. So I guess this is worth it. I guess this is worth it. Worth it. Pazol, saludos hasta Chile. Muchas gracias por ver. Shadow connection. Let's transfer the energies like that. And okay, we will use red banquets. So we get an extra prize card for our efforts. And the question now becomes can my opponent find Radicate, Triple, and either Hypnotoxic or Aridos? And teammates is a way that this deck can easily find some of the pieces. He does need three pieces, right? Um, <clears throat> we have guaranteed return KO as well with another end. Would you want to nest well for Mew so you can use Gosler to attack twice? Uh, possibly, possibly. But if I nest bolt for Mew, I would not have been able to. Like the issue was the bench space. If I nest bolt for Mew, then I can't restoration and I'm three energies. I have three energies in play, not four. Well, I guess I have four because of the dark patch, but like. Mew is such an, like, the attack is such an energy hog, right, that realistically, I'm not going to be able to pull it off twice, right? Or I don't think I would be able to pull it off twice. Um, there's the call risk for my opponent. Um, I think the more important thing is making him use up a resource, right? And then if he knocks out Gosler, like, yeah, ideally you want to use Mew and then Gosler to get the double KO, but... <clears throat> uh, what happened to the music? I am. Okay, so there's the colors of my opponent needs a triple and an Aridos, or a triple and a thingy, a hypnotoxic laser. And it's only one prize, so that's good. Puzzle, difícil, <laughs> difícil contestar eso, la verdad es que no he visto nada de la nueva expansión. Entonces no podría contestarte eso. Ok, so my opponent simply super fangs. This is brutal for him, that's for sure. This is absolutely brutal for him. Um, I actually feel like KOing the Jirachi is a good call here. Maybe. I mean, if I found Mew here this turn, now that would be fantastic, right? So do I end on KO him? Or do I go Kuzma KO Jirachi? I feel like I should win if I... Like, KO Jirachi means... Well... Okay, so if I KO Jirachi... He only needs, like he needs something very basic no matter what, but that I feel is a better card for the late game to be rid of. It's amazing that he whiffed though. I don't know his counts, right? I definitely don't know his counts, but it's amazing that he whiffed. Um, Red Banquet KO. Um, I Berserk, I mean, I think Radicate is best played with Zorg, not with this sort of engine. Um, I definitely think the partner for Eradicate is 100% Zorark. 100% Zorark. 100% Zorark. Mm. 
Yeah, because after, like, for example, my opponent cold wrist and then that was it, right? He couldn't find whatever he was missing. But then if you cold wrist with Zork and then you trade, then you have even higher chances of finding what you need. Power plant, definitely annoying. Yeah, more drawn than another attacker, exactly. Like, if you're up against something that's not GX, then Radicate is terrible. But if you're up against stack teams, Radicate is fantastic. So you really, really, really want um, Zorg as support. And my opponent decides to Kuzma. Like, this would make sense. If you go super fang and then you play a shrine and you get two prizes on your turn but my opponent 100 percent needed to get rid of the guzzler now i just attack with guzzler again and i win now i just attack with guzzler again and i win power plant is fine because my opponent used guzma he can't end me and then if he end me he couldn't have guzma so it, it was a win-win um this would make sense if like this would make more sense or this would be pretty okay if like if i didn't have a way to retreat then um my opponent could next turn play down a shrine finish his turn and then take four prizes immediately but that is not quite going to be the case and the guzzler just ends up sweeping it for us so very nice you know very very nice very very nice all right okay so let's jump into another match Let's jump into another match and we win the coin flip that's great let's go first hello friend fire friend we are up against a fire friend. Power plant seems redundant in that drat stack. Well, I don't think it is. Because you want to slow down other GX decks. Um, like a turn one power plant can definitely be detrimental to a lot of things. And what a start. What a start. This is not great. Right? This is not great. Um, now that certainly helps. That certainly helps. Um, okay, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna. Oh, I should have discarded the Colrus. Why did I discard the VS Seeker? That was silly. I'll grab Shaman. I should have 100% discarded the Colrus. What was I thinking? And then we'll set up for three. Probably Resh is already up. That's what we should expect here. And then I'll go Max Elixir. Okay, not. I mean, not yeah okay so we're rooting for my opponent to bench a bunch of stuff right <laughs> that's what we're rooting for here uh greens charizard Okay. Heat Factory and Nest Ball. I am happy to see that. Thank you so much for the follow. I'll do right there. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome to the streamer, Rudy. All right. Um, I mean, is Archie's really viable? I feel like Archie's is not as viable as it used to be. Like, it feels like Mewtwo Box just does whatever Archie's wants to do better and more efficiently, I feel. So I'm not sure Archie's is like a big deal. Okay. So not a start for my opponents. This is a good thing to be able to immediately counter. Then I'm going to attach to the Mew, and my opponent says we have a good deck. Thank you. Likewise. 
except <laughs> what the heck do I even play this Ugh. I feel like I shouldn't no I definitely shouldn't okay so I think our plan right oh that's bad Ugh. that power plant is bad so my plan was to restoration this arc I mean not this arc the dark right play hypnotoxic laser on this guy and cold and hope to find an energy and then get a KO with that power plant now we can't restoration and our cold risk is so weak and my opponent chooses to great catch okay so now all we need is an energy oh no never mind because he's gonna knock out with Volcanion. He's going to knock us out with Volcanion, Fire Flint, and Grape Catcher in the same turn. I mean, on that Nest Ball, my opponent seems to be playing like a standard dish deck. Right? Has the Welder. Decides to Welder to the active. Yeah, that means KO on Shaman. Yep, I reserved that would be the play. Unfortunately though, like it's not looking great. I mean I can't just dark leave. And then hopefully that NGX to turn after. Oh, and I even got that. Um it's really silly though that I've drawn basically nothing and I get I have to call risk twice for two. Like that's just very silly. I need to draw like Oranguru and energy. Um, okay, well, I guess that works, kind of. <laughs> I guess we'll get a prize. So between our prize and our top deck, if we can find a Hypnotoxic Laser, then we're still in it. We are still absolutely in it. That is not a useful prize card. That is not a useful prize card. There's a Regisard, a backup Regisard, I guess. So best card to top deck would be like N. Wow. My opponent just has everything. Raw welders back to back without having to search for them. I mean, not necessarily now that that guy's powered up because maybe i get a ko on this guy but then what do i do he gx KOs this and then i'm dead so yeah i mean it, it comes down to my a start right i generally think this would be a fine matchup if i hadn't started so badly if this had been any other supporter literally any other supporter aka sycamore and all right, so our top deck is is nope, that's not it. <laughs> that is not what we wanted. All right, okay, so let's do one more game. I do play Lele indeed. I do play Lele in this Iberzerk. I do indeed play Tap Lele GX. Okay. Say show nineteen ninety seven. Coin flip, we win the coin flip. As long as we don't get a terrible start like last time, we should be fine. This is a terrible start like last time deck. <laughs> this actually is a terrible start. Okay, but we're gonna get mulligans and at least we have an instruct. Like I would have killed for instruct last game. Okay, and we're up against Ultra Necrozma Garb. So we'll have to see what happens here. Uh still a terrible card. Still a terrible card. Oh my gosh. How is this so bad? Alright, so I'll do that and fail it. <laughs> oh my god. I can't even instruct because of this guy. What on earth? Oh my gosh. So much for Turbo Dark, right? So much for Turbo Dark. Trace Mail. 
treasure. So much for Turbo Dark. Yep, I reserved that would have been the ideal scenario for sure. Ooh, so my boat's playing counter energy will try to cross my interesting. I don't feel like the deck has a reliable engine to be able to pull that off. I don't I okay, so I shouldn't I also should not have played down the stadium. Since I can't even instruct because of the wolf at start. Oh well. What can you do when you get this sort of starts, right? Or anger is getting KO'd. After you see your opponent do like this terrible turn, then you're not super worried at all. And me losing the anger means I don't get a lot of um, abilities, right? Or I don't get to instruct at all, really. Yep, sign lab. Okay. Okay, there's a shrine. <laughs> uh, what? What? Okay, can I? I can. I think I have to do this. Instruct for three. Everyone got so greedy there. Or that, like, that feels like that was very bad. Um, sure, I'll grab this, I guess. I'll play it again. Double tails. Can't even get average. Instruct for three. We got the Dene. Don't want to be a secret Kuzma. <laughs> okay. So this is still absolutely horrible. But we're maybe getting somewhere. Probably not. Okay, I'm gonna go for Shaman now. Ghost Lord is necessary to be able to beat this, but it's not looking great for us right here to ever do anything, really. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you draw an elixir with three energies, you know your elixir is not hitting. You absolutely know your elixir is not hitting at all. All right. So now my opponent plays Iron Lab. <clears throat> I mean, my opponent doesn't have a good setup. So we might just win off of that. We might actually just win off of that. There's a sign lab, which is fine. Right, it's not the end of the world. We can't use Mew this turn. But we weren't planning on it, really. And top deck dark. No, top deck dark patch, that's nice. That is certainly nice. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then I don't think I nest ball here. Because if I I need this space open to potentially um, use restoration. Although if I'm gonna restoration then that means I that means what? That means I was <clears throat> I found a sky field. So never mind. I should just stick over here. I need one dark patch, that's all I need. Or a max elixir hit. This works. I'll put a third energy here because the Ultron Cross match just discards. And I mean, I could play the stadium. I guess it's one more card my opponent needs. And that thing where she went trying to get 10 and then replaced it and then got killed, it's like, just play Choice Band, you know? Just play Choice Band. We might just be able to out aggro my opponent here based on her super slow start. Yes, she got ahead in prizes, but we just needed one turn to get out of this. 
We need to just one turn to get out of that. Okay. All right. Here's the teammates. Why not pseudo Wudo? Because my opponent's not gonna play a bunch of things. Um, Nago Shakur, thanks so much for follow. Why not pseudo Wudo? I mean, my opponent probably is not gonna bench a bunch of things. Um, I guess it would have been a good idea so that if my steam gets countered, I can just get rid of the Shaman. So, yeah, why not? Because a big oversight on my part. Not big, but like. A silly oversight on my part. Yeah, a silly oversight on my part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 item cards already. Thirteen item cards already. Okay, shrine seems unnecessary when you have muscle band and choice band in format. Yeah, and what you need silent lab to start attacking with this guy, so that makes no sense, right? Okay, so I'll do this. I'll do this. Let's go ahead and bench the pseudo Wudo. As PC Mist correctly identified that that was the better play. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I am just in the threshold. However, if I use we like if I use Gosler here rather, I do get a knockout. I'm already past the threshold, so I feel like I'll just get rid of the elixir. Uh we well is prized. I should have known that, I guess. I guess. I should have known we well is prized. So I won't be using Gosler this turn. Because I discard the elixir. Oops. Alright, so all dark pulse. Use Mew, I can't use Mew, I can't. I guess I could have, but it's fine. It's fine. I don't think my opponent has entered anything in her hand. Well, I like being able to KO Garb with this guy, that's super good, right? So investing energy into Mew would not have been a good idea because then I won't be able to use Gosler the turn afterwards. So if he gets three prizes, then that's fine. You would use Mew to copy Gosler's ability, but look. Garbotoxin, there's no abilities. Investing energy into Mew is not a good idea. And you can't Dark Patch onto Mew either, so it's slower to power up. Yeah, so... We're at four prizes each, so the counter energy doesn't even work right now. The counter energy doesn't even work for my opponent, even if he goes for a trash challenge. So I, all I need is an energy, and then I go Guzma KO. But I don't have great Odds of doing that. Well, I guess I have Orangu. I can go Guzma, Ultra Wall, get rid of everything, and then instruct for three and hope to get an energy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Never mind. Goodbye. Goodbye. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, but see, my opponent just. Oh, and I did get the energy. That's so sick. Uh. Do I use Gosler right now? I don't think I do. I actually think it's gonna be better if I take... Okay, she clearly doesn't have the card with Toxin. I mean the Trash Unless, right? So I don't care if she, like whoever she attaches energy to, she has to use Trash Unless to KO me, right? There's the Weavile. So then, if she KOs me, then I go N plus KO. And then she needs Double Dragon to, to win off of two cards. 
my field blower is in the discard pile because of the awful start that we had my field blower and my dozen machine there's a teammate so does she go garb double dragon energy and creates checkmate did she top deck the via seeker yeah i guess if you got if you grab trash launch and the double dragon well no that's not checkmate because then I go KO that with that by transferring energy plus N. Wow, did she actually go for a special charge? Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a trash challenge. She'll get three prizes, but now what I do is I take my next prize with this guy. Right, I go N plus KO with this. So that can't ever KO and she needs exactly of the two cards, Guzma plus Double Dragon. Okay, do I have any here? I do, good. Good, good, good. Um, I guess those seem fine. They do want the stadium, these two seem useful, this guy seems useful as well. Okay, so now I'll go Evolve. And then I'll go bench, and then I'll go end my opponent to one. She needs exactly Guzma double dragon energy to win, otherwise we win. Oh, I can't transfer, that's true. I can't transfer, <laughs> that is very true. I was just talking about card, and now I can't use Mew, and now I forgot. All right, so then we go Red Banquet and hope that my opponent doesn't find Double Dragon. If she had just teammates for the Double Dragon instead and Trash Challenge instead, she would have created Checkmate. She actually would have created Checkmate. So does she get punished or do we win here? Broken Hearts. So if you're watching Seisho, you definitely could have made a better play. With that teammates, why would you grab the Special Charge? Why not just grab a double dragon and the trash challenge and then you KO with trash challenge you place double dragon and then that's it skyfield would have been good too no because um we were at two prizes ultra Grossman could attack garbage was in play there were no abilities anyway so if the game like if she didn't win that turn i would have won the next turn so playing skyfield didn't actually matter um but yeah I do have a lot of things to do, so that will be all from me today. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you're watching on YouTube. And thanks so much for hanging out with me today on Twitch. Thank you so much for watching and those of you who actively participate in chat. Um, it's definitely nice. And thanks so much for the follow, Trill Dog. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will leave you with... Um, Azul, yeah, he's streaming. So I will leave you with Azul. Thank you so much for watching and say hi from him. Say hi from me to him, if you will. Thank you and have a good day. Bye bye.